It's impossible to pigeonhole Jackie Ozarski, and that's a good thing. Ever since he came here from Hungary 20 odd years ago with his band Sirius, he's been blowing away the local scene with his own special brand of soul, funk, jazz, rap and the industrial avant-garde. He was our hero in the 70s. In Hungary, Sirius was the, the best underground band and they were the first to play the jazz rock music. What role did politics play in music in Hungary at the time? Well, the difficulty was mainly that uh, we all had to be approved by the Interior Ministry. And the music, what we played, of course, that was uh, somewhat westernised in a way. Therefore, we went uh, the most uh, welcome citizens of the art world of Hungary. But nevertheless, somehow, through, I guess, through connections or whatever, we got approved. So we actually could come to Australia. We actually had a had a very strong band, and of course, Marsha was a really funky lady, and, and she was really doing the R&B thing and all that. I mean, she was she was happening and, and the band was happening. It was it was a good time, you know. I mean, she was big and, and we toured a lot and, and we played some tight stuff, you know. Tell us about Industrial Accident. Just wanted to do something different. We went to the shoe factory, went to the printing press, recorded the stuff, sat down, listened to it, transcribed some of it, and then orchestrated it. Spread it around on the different instruments, used uh, elements of it. And then, uh, of course, using those similar rhythmic components, improvise, use, use the same components as basis of improvisation. Hungarian Rhapsodist is my favourite of Jackie's bands because um, everything's happening at once. We used um, Hungarian folk music, basically funeral dirges. Then we used uh, marches from the Communist League and, uh, and a couple of Hungarian fellows making a bit of fun of rap. more experimental projects, Jackie is also renowned for his various jazz, funk and soul combos, including Jump Back Jack, The Godmothers and now The Grandmasters. It's always interesting to go to Hungary for me because with the group series we have such a past that people always would love me to just to reform and do like a big tea jerking concert, you know, to 100,000 people and everybody would hold up the candles and we all would go, you know, wow, you know. And um, and of course what usually ends up that I, I want to do what I'm doing at, the, at, at that present time. Uh, Miklos, uh, Miki, Joida, Erdash. Uh, translated from the uh, Hungarian, that means uh, Jackie Ozarski's bands, uh, in, in, from a jazz point of view, are rather like um, Johnny O'Keefe's band in the 1950s, in that many brilliant players get experience there, they learn a great deal, especially about rhythm, and they love Jackie because he is the master. When I was young, you know, I was really lucky in a way that I worked with a lot of people who were excellent musicians and, and they proved to be like world-class musicians now and the older you get the more younger people you have to work with and and work to so sort of pass down the trade basically pass down whatever experiences you managed to collect over the years and whatever was passed down to you it has to be passed on and, and I'm really happy that it is happening it's that way you know it's, it's enjoyable Turn on. 